Everybody. It's Mark from Haunted Auckland and Paranormal New Zealand. Doing a bit of a road trip at the moment. The wife and I are traveling around the west coast of the South Island, so just a couple of weeks. But it's been fantastic, loving it. It's a bit of a walk, a bit of a climb. I think it'll be worth it. <laughs> I'd be a good boy today. No rule breaking, no trespassing. 
keep it above the law. That's the way to do it. I had a hell of a time getting down there. I tried to cross the rivers, staggered across rocks to get across. There was just one river after another, and I just couldn't get across to it going the long route. I was going to try and get across the rivers over there and uh, make it up the grass up there and the grass birds and try and make it in through that way, but there's about three raging rivers there and it just makes it impossible. So I wasn't having much luck, but I got to see the Atura railway tunnel, so I'm happy with that. It's been on my list for a while. Uh, it's a great tunnel uh, with some uh, sad stories, but um, the ghosts remain apparently. So it's worth documenting, that's for sure. The main reason I'm here today is to um, check, <laughs> check out that bean, that's so cool. <laughs> it's bizarre, it's almost alien. What the hell is that? This is a, one of those sort of. Is it a contrail? Is it a contrail that's been lit up by the sun, or is it. I mean, it's, it's brightest there, so I'm guessing the sun's over that way. Okay, sun's over there. Brilliant. Sun's over there. On the horizon, sun's going down. But look at this beam. This goes right overhead, and it's the clouds it disappears. Ah. Everything about this place is amazing me. It's so cool. It's really good. I totally recommend you get down here. That's amazing. Stunning place. Loving it. Oh well, I tried. I decided I wasn't going to break any laws or uh, uh, trespass. It, uh, I wanted to be a good boy on this, this trip, so there's signs saying there's cameras and all that sort of thing there, so I wasn't going to sort of uh, start breaking any rules or laws just to get a shot of the Atura Tunnel. It's an amazing place, has an amazing haunted history, but uh, it's not worth being uh, charged with trespass or you know, chucked in the slammer for. So, got as close as I could. I don't know if there's anybody in that building over there behind me watching me. I have no idea. But I wasn't going to risk it. And it's just not safe looking at that train track and uh, not knowing when things are coming. And uh, if something was to come, there's not a lot of room to sort of jam myself up against the, the railing to sort of get out of the way if the train did come. So, I figured it's not worth the risk, you know. Uh, now, I'll be a good boy on this one and uh, obey the laws. Uh, no trespassing, they've made it quite clear, so for my own safety I'll, I'll abide by that. Right, I'm going to head home, I'm going to head back now before it gets dark. The sun's going down and um, I don't want to be trekking in the bush in the dark, so thanks for joining me guys. It's a weird place. From time to time you hear you hear voices like sounds like some guy yelling out going, Hey! Hey! And while I was down there by the river, you could sort of hear it over the, the sound of the river. You could hear, hey! And it was almost like, you know, I, I kept thinking that oh yeah, I've been I've been busted, somebody's seen me. Somebody spotted me from the window and is going, Hey, get out of here! Get off this land. I thought maybe they'd been told off. I don't know. But, um, yeah, you, this place does have a certain amount of oddness to it. There's a, there is a bit of a weird factor going on. I don't know, maybe it's just the stories. What we do know is that people died in the making of that tunnel. Men died. Men have been seen in those tunnels with lanterns and just as shadows. Um, walking through the tunnels and along the train tracks. So people are seeing these things, um, whether they're actually ghosts, we don't know, we don't know. But the stories are fantastic, I love the stories, that's why I'm here, I'm here to follow the stories. So if you're ever down south on the west coast, and you find yourself in Oterra, a little town, tiny little town, beautiful little town, 
cross over that little gate at the front there and just walk a couple of k's up this little gravel road here and uh, come pay your respects to those that uh, built this amazing 8.5 kilometre tunnel in Oterra. If you're in the area, come say hello. Tell them Mark sent you from Horned Auckland. somebody there. I'm hearing footsteps. Kind of sounds like footsteps on the gravel. There was nobody else over there when I was there unless they were further along the, the river. There are no, no other cars down the bottom when I came up. I was the only car there. But I can hear footsteps on gravel behind me. Coming down the road, I've just come. I'm sure it's nothing, it's just. I thought I'd better just document it just now, um, just in case it is something, but it's. Um, voices. Did you hear that? It's like voices chattering. It could just be people out walking at night, perhaps. But I didn't see anybody come up or down this path. Weird place. I think it's just the, the way the river has a big river flowing through. And I think it just maybe it just distorts the sound and it creates its own sounds. I don't know. All these big valleys here. Oop. There's a car coming up the main road. Must be, must be getting back to the car now. The main, the main road down there. I'm getting back, I'm hungry. <laughs> See you guys, bye. <laughs>